In this video I would like to share with you my favorite screen tone feature. And despite being a very simple one, I have never seen it like that in other apps. Uh, so in this video I want to share why this feature is important to me, what the feature is, and how you could replicate a similar behavior in other apps like Obsidian for example. So let's get started. So here I just have a board in Obsidian. If I just come here on a card, let's suppose I want to work on this card and in relation to another card that is down there. So it needs to be moving up and down all the time. Okay. So it's very important that we, when we are in the canvas, we don't stay stuck in a place. Okay. I like more this trick, almost like a 3D perspective of the canvas, where you have the canvas there as an image that you can organize things in the 2D environment but you also can have this, okay, there is an environment, but there are other things that are not in there. They're not stuck in space, okay? Scrinto is well known by the boards, okay? Uh, so you can place cards and other elements in this infinite blank canvas. So what is very interesting for me is a capability that you cannot just look at a card in the canvas itself, but you can actually click and have this hovering card here, okay? Something very simple, but that for me is very powerful. Why? If you're able to put things in the canvas, at some point you have a lot of things, okay? They will be out of the screen, you need to be moving around. And if you can only write in the card that's in the canvas, you may not be able to look at a card which is here and a card that is maybe out of the screen, okay? So having this hovering card here is very good for that. I can use the what is in the canvas as context to provide me information that I can write inside of a card. But there is a little bit more than that. I could be opening other cards. I can have more than one card in the screen. Okay? Because in other tools, for example, in OBC that we will see in a minute, you can have things here on the side. In Heptabase you also have a tab on the side where you can open a card. But if you want to open multiple cards, then becomes a little bit of a go up, go down, go up, go down. Okay. And where is here? You can have all the cards just floating the screen, more than one, checking things here, putting this card, checking things there, putting the other card. Depends on what you're trying to do. Okay. Uh, so that's something I, I really like. The floating card for me is very important. Okay. That's something that I haven't seen like natively in other uh, tools, uh, but I can show you, for example, in Obsidian, how we could have a similar, uh, similar uh, uh, approach. Okay, so here I just have a board in Obsidian. That's what I was talking about. If I just come here on a card, let's suppose I want to work on this card, and in relation to another card that is down there, so it needs to be moving up and down all the time. Okay, and uh, there is no really way to open a card just in that floating screen that way, not natively. I don't know if there is any plugin that does that. If you know any plugin, just let me know in the comments. Uh, but there, there are some things you can do. For example, you can just open a new tab here and then move the tab to the side. Okay. So now I can have at least one card open here on the side. Let's say I want to open this engagement based. So command A or just click here and then engagement based community segment models. Okay, so I have the card here and now I can move around. So if I need a second card open, I could have tabs here or even just move here, a tab, okay? And now I have a new space where I can have any of the other cards that are in screen uh, open here. It's a little bit more work to be opening the cards here. I cannot just like drag and drop them there, okay? There is not that's not really an, an option to do that because the things are in the canvas only. But at least I have a similar uh, functionality where I can have multiple cards open while I'm navigating using the canvas. Okay, so that's something you can do. Uh, and uh, maybe in other apps you could have some similar functionality. So it's very important that we, when you are in the canvas, we don't stay stuck in a place, okay? I like more this trick, almost like a 3D perspective of the canvas, where you have the canvas there as an image that you can organize things in the 2D environment, but you also can 
have this, okay, there is an environment, but there are other things that are not in there. They are not stuck in space. So that's my favorite uh, screen of feature is the floating cards. And I hope even with the new canvas, that's not going away. And the team said it's not going away, so I believe on them. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have anything, any questions about screen tool or any other other apps that I have been testing over time, or if you would like me to take a look at a new app, just let me know uh, in the comments and then I see you in the next video.